All right, folks, here we are once again. In this video, I am doing some wood burning on the stock for an AK-47. Someone sent me this and requested that on the right side of the stock, I put the crest that is the relief at the entrance of the cultural center of the armies in Madrid. That's why I penciled that part in first, since it was important that it looks like something specific. Around the head in the center, there is a Latin phrase. I won't try to pronounce it, but it could be translated to something like, if you want peace, prepare for war. I'm sure there's some wisdom to that platitude, but there are probably some exceptions to it as well. It seems like maybe being totally prepared for might make it a little too easy to actually go to war. I don't know. I'm not an armchair politician or anything, so that's all I'll say on that matter. So this stock is made of some sort of laminate wood. That's like a bunch of thin slices of wood all glued together. That's why you get that kind of stripy topographical look. The glue in between each slat of wood is also uh, also made it so it was interesting to work with. You won't be surprised when I tell you that glue doesn't quite react the same way to wood burning as actual wood does, but it was manageable and still quite enjoyable all around. If any of you want to get into wood burning, I would recommend that you go to an arts and crafts store near you and get a cheap wood burning set. This should run you about $15 or something like that, and should come with maybe several different tips you can put on it to accomplish different things. Uh, now, while you're there, get a piece of basswood. There should be several options and you know, slabs of wood of different sizes, little birdhouses, assorted boxes and frames, and other items as well. Just grab a plank of wood, nothing too fancy. Then buy that stuff and leave the store. Get in your car or on your bike or on the bus or just walk home. Go in the front door and make sure you close it behind you. Clear a spot at the table or a desk. Make sure there's an outlet nearby. Struggle to get the packaging open, almost stabbing yourself with the scissors, but go ahead and put a normal looking tip on that sucker. Plug it in, give it a minute to heat up. Then go to town. Just do whatever. Make some nonsense marks on one side of the board to get the hang of it. And once you feel comfortable, turn it over and make something. Maybe just some lines, maybe something else. Just have fun. If you liked it, if you liked the smell, if you liked how it felt, if you didn't, even if you didn't like how it turned out, pyrography might just be for you. Unfortunately, the next step up as far as wood burning kits go is quite a leap. The kit I bought was a hundred bucks, uh, but it was totally worth it. It has a little dial so you can change how hot the tips get. The tips uh, get hot in like four seconds and cool down that fast too, um, and they get a lot hotter than the other ones do, if you want them to. Anyways, in the description I'll put a link to the one I got, but feel free to do some research of your own uh, first if you think you might like doing this stuff. It's lots of fun. The best option would be to find a woodworking store near you and go talk to someone there and see what they've got. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you haven't uh, checked out the new book I just put out yet, go ahead and check that out. And, uh, also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, if you're into that sort of thing. No pressure. So you can still be my friend if you don't follow me on Instagram. If you have any questions, probably either best to uh, send me an email or... Yeah, maybe just send me an email. I'll try to, I'll try to respond. I'm, I'm going to try to get better at that, uh, responding to all the emails. But the comments get a little out of control on YouTube, so I... I read them all, but I don't know if I... Anyways, comments on YouTube are weird. Anyways, so uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.